we can't wait to get them back on campus. This is crunch time for school districts across our area to come up with their COVID back to school plans. Now, whether it's online, in person, or maybe a combination of both, it is a very challenging process and the clock is ticking. Tonight, we're getting an inside look at how one district is handling this situation. 11 Investigates' Angie Moreski got an exclusive tour of changes underway in the Montour School District. Angie, what are they doing? Well, Peggy, they're doing some really creative, innovative things. The district is converting all of its buildings to make them COVID ready because their back to school survey showed nearly 85% of families want their kids to go back to the classroom. It's time to fill these seats, according to the majority of parents at Montour. My kids want to come back. I mean, they're tired of mom being teacher and being there with them 24-7. Safety will come first with brand new sanitizing sprayers and foggers. Cleaning the classrooms, the high touch frequency areas on a regular basis, every single day, multiple times throughout the course of the day. The district purchased face masks and face shields for every student. Social distancing measures will be in place with desks at least four to five feet apart. Hallway traffic directions controlled, and everyone entering the building will undergo daily temperature checks. We want to make sure that the, when the kids come through the building, the parents trust us to keep them safe. Another safety measure no drinking from the water fountains. All the bubblers will be covered and locked down, and the stations converted into bottle refill stations only. And over here, Mobile hand sanitizing units will be set up in all of the classrooms and in the common areas. Well, there's a webcam at the, beginning, at the front of every classroom. An innovative option for the 15% of families who indicated they're not comfortable having kids come back yet. Students will have access to live feeds coming direct from their child's classroom. If you were the teacher, you'd be like literally talking in front of Correct. the webcam and this would be the students behind you so Dr. Stone you're actually acting as our students today Correct. so if you wanted to ask a question you would be able to talk to the teacher yeah absolutely the teacher will also be able to screen share whatever the other kids are seeing on the board write things present things to the test today. oh no test. I'm not sure they want to see that word but these moms say the kids will be glad to see each other I think that the options that Montour is giving is wonderful for the whole community because you can make a decision that best suits your family. And they're also going to have an all cyber option to choose from where kids can learn at their own pace. And Montour is asking families to make their final choices on whether kids will attend in class or remotely by early August. And of course, Peggy, all of this costs lots of money. Montour did get about a half million dollars in grant money from the Federal CARES Act to help pay for all of these measures. They say expensive, but worth it.